Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here. And today I want to talk about a topic that's really important to me. It's a feature that existed in Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2, and since then really hasn't reared its head again, and that is Seasons. Seasons was a feature introduced in Generation 5, and it changed the overworld environments that you got to explore depending on the month, and the months were based in the real world seasons, even though they didn't last as long as our real world seasons do. And this was, of course, to give the player the ability to experience more of these seasons in a typical run through. There was a tweet from Nintendo a couple weeks ago, and it made it seem as if seasons as a mechanic is coming back to Pokemon in Legends Arceus. That's what we're going to be discussing today. Seasons, a feature that not a lot of people seem to have a lot of love for or really care about, but I really do. With that being said, let's jump into things. Now, when Nintendo of America put out this tweet along with a trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. It got my attention and it got a lot of people's attention on social media because there's two ways to read this. The first is that this is just a verbiage for the different uh, natural environments of the Hisui region. We've seen from multiple trailers and every single trailer that there's a bunch of different environments in the region that are very different in terms of their temperate climate. You have more of a grassland area. It's all cold, but you have more of a grassland area. You have the northern area that's really snowy. You've got some boggy swamp looking areas. You have basically the same types of environments that exist in modern Sinnoh. They're just a little more naturalized in this older world. But the use of the word seasons there. What's that about? Seasons is a very specific feature in Pokemon. As I mentioned in the intro, in different routes and towns in Generation 5, depending on if it was summer, winter, spring, or fall, the look of the area would change. Sometimes the types of Pokemon that it would appear would change. Deerling would have a completely different design depending on the season as well as Saw's Bucket's evolution. It was a subtle feature, but it's a feature that I really loved and I've harped on a lot ever since these games came out. It's something that I think shouldn't just be a strict uh, one generation feature. It should be commonplace in Pokemon games because one of the most important things to me for Pokemon games is the fact that they make the world feel alive and lived in. They've done a really good job in recent games of adding more people and more Pokemon into the overworld, making it look like this world is lived in. Seasons is a feature that makes this world feel like it has more character. It doesn't necessarily make a ton of sense that Unova is the only location on the globe that seems to have discernible seasons, and I'm aware it's, it's just a gameplay mechanic, and of course the Pokemon world has seasons, they're just not depicted in the games, I understand that. But we're going for a more open world, more player interacting with the environment type game with Legends Arceus, and a feature that would change the way the player character and the Pokemon interact with the world they exist in would be seasons. Think about an area that's easy to traverse in the spring or the summer or the fall being untraversable without a Pokemon that you can ride on to get past all of the snowy, you know, the snowy environment, needing a Mamoswine or something of the sort to get past a certain location. Maybe there's certain valleys in certain areas that when it gets into the colder months, you can't traverse as easily. This is a feature that adds replayability, adds more of a time factor to the game, and adds some differences depending on when you play it. We actually saw something similar in Pokemon X and Y, even though it wasn't based on seasons. You needed to ride a Mamoswine to get through a certain location in Pokemon X and Y. Now this wasn't based on seasons, it was based on a specific gameplay mechanic of the route you exist on. No matter when you visit this route, you're going to have to deal with snow and you're going to have to ride on Mamoswine. But you can picture a world where this sort of mechanic is a seasonal mechanic in an open world, open air game like Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, before we go any further, you guys know the drill. The vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. And of course, if you're not subscribed, you're missing out. I upload multiple videos a week. And if you never want to miss another one of those videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you'll never miss another video. And we're going to be having a lot of really good videos coming up pretty soon because Legend of Arceus comes out next month. It is going to be a really exciting time to be a Pokemon fan, and you don't want to miss any of it. So seasons have the gameplay benefits of creating different challenges depending on what time of year it is. You can also introduce different Pokemon to different areas depending on the time of year. It could be a really cool mechanic for filling out the Pokedex, which from everything we've learned does seem to be the main goal of Pokemon Legends Arceus. But there's also a variety of other things to consider when talking about seasons. 
as we've seen from all of the trailers, and as I mentioned earlier in this video, there's very specific climate areas in this game. There's places that look like grasslands. There's places further up north, closer to the peak and the mountains of Mount Coronet, that are a lot more snowy, that are filled with snow. This is the case in the main games. This is nothing new. I'm not asking for, during the winter months, every single region in the lowlands areas of Hisui to be completely covered in snow, but I think you can make subtle changes that really change the gameplay. One of the most interesting parts of Platinum version when it came out is that there were regional differences compared to Sinnoh of Diamond and Pearl. It was a lot colder, it was a lot snowier, the characters wore clothes that you would wear in a colder environment. These are similar changes to what I think you could see in these lowland regions of Hisui if you had a seasons mechanic. You could add more snow, add more ice type Pokemon, get rid of some more normal and grass type Pokemon. There could be new areas that you could explore, new caves unearthed, new pathways or less pathways, different ways to traverse rivers and things of that nature that maybe have frozen over without altering the environment all that much. Now, of course, there's a big caveat here. This tweet that seemingly cons confirms Seasons is probably not Seasons. They're probably talking about the different temperate environments, but I don't want to let that stop me from speculating about what I think should exist in these games, what gameplay mechanic should be there. It's a gameplay mechanic, frankly, that should have never been removed after Generation 5. They should have kept Seasons and continued to improve upon it, add more Pokemon that had different forms based on them. You could look at Deerling. Deerling was the Pokemon, the mascot of this mechanic. It changed its coat depending on the time of year, and when it evolved into Sawsbuck, Sawsbuck also looked a little bit different. Since then, we've had the creation of of uh, regional variants. I almost said Hisuian forms in this game, they're Hisuian forms, but regional variants as a long standing gameplay mechanic. We've had them in multiple regions now. You could have combined these two features and made it so the seasonal temperate changes that go on in this part of the world impact how those regional variants developed. Now, there are subtle, you know, subtle season things in the Pokemon world. Depending on the part of the world you live in, it's hotter or colder, but that's not really connected to seasons. That's, that's simply climate. That's climate science. That's kind of just how worlds work when they rotate around a sun during a whole uh, year's period of time. We know that there's different regions that are more temperate or less temperate. Alola and Hoenn are more tropical. Sinnoh and Unova are colder. We know, and we can generally place these geographically depending on this. We have regions that are canonly connected Sinnoh, Kanto, and Johto, my three favorite interconnected regions, and I love the lore about it. And you know that it is warmer when you go more south. When you go to Johto and Kanto, it's warmer than when you go up north to Sinnoh. When you get higher in elevation, when you get closer to the mountain ranges, when you go further up north. All of these things have existed in Pokemon, and I really think a season's mechanic brought fully into the 3D world, brought fully onto the Nintendo Switch in an open-air game like Pokemon Legends Arceus would do a lot for the gameplay. Now, I mean, this isn't everyone's cup of tea. Competitive players aren't going to care about this. People that just want to breeze through the game and then get to the post-game content aren't necessarily going to care about this. This is for the people who, when they play Pokemon, like myself, love exploring the world, the environments, building a team, raising that team in the world you live in, getting to eventually progress through the story, explore the region itself, listen to the music. The music could change depending on the seasons. There's so many ways that you could handle this that I think would really make a more modern Pokemon game interesting. This is all based on a tweet and my own hopes. Nintendo of America said seasons. We're gonna speculate about seasons. This is what I do. This is what this channel is for. I really want them. I think it was one of the most underrated mechanics back in Generation 5. And I think it should return. I think it'd be great. I'd love to know what you guys think, though. Did you like Seasons in Generation 5? Was it something that you even really paid attention to? Was it something that you cared about? And if you didn't, would you like to see it make a return? Would it bother you if it did? And if you really were someone like me who enjoyed this mechanic, don't you want to see it back? I think it would be awesome. I'd love to know what you guys think down below. And as I mentioned before, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any more content. We have a ton of great stuff coming up. The new year is upon us. A new Pokemon game is upon us. Probably DLC for that Pokemon game later next year. I'll have a whole video about that coming out pretty soon. Is also probably upon us. It's going to be a really great year to be a Pokemon fan. And it's going to be a really great month. So be sure to stick around here so you never miss another upload. With that being said, I've been Linky. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.